So hello everyone. Uh, myself Preeti Ranjan, a PMRF researcher scholar from IIT BHU. So today we will take the revision session. Very less people is here. Should I start the class or wait for others to join? Yeah, I know tomorrow is exam. So what is the status? Like if you will uh, inform them, your friends and also they will join the class or not? So let's just start the class then. So in today's class, we have taken the problem assignment. Assignment problem. No, what is that? Ah, your practice assignment questions. Because we have found some uh, mistakes there. So we thought to take that questions for the revision. So this is the assignment one, question number one. Yes. Yes. What model paper they are asking? Model paper may be discussed for the benefit of all. What model paper? Oh, I am not aware of. Okay, but Karthik, it's already four seven now. Yeah. So this is the assignment one. Uh, question number one: Ibuprofen is used as a anti-inflammation drug. This all you know. The second question was the pharma company test one forty five drugs on human volunteers. Probability of failure in phase one. Uh, is 50 percent and in phase 2 30 percent and in phase 3 40 percent so how many drugs will successfully pass all the tests so oh, what we will do here uh, first we will check the how many drugs has passed in phase 1 so for that what we will do is as there is num total number of drugs is 145 so in question it's given So in question, it's given like the probability of failure in phase 1 is 50%. So how many drugs has passed a phase 1? So 145 minus 145 into 50 upon 100. So this much drug has passed phase 1. So we will take this much drug for the phase 2 trial. So in phase 2 trials, it's given like the probability of failure is 30%. So uh, this much drug has passed the phase 1. So we will take this much drug for the phase 2 trial. And it's given like the 30% drug having the probability of failure. So we will calculate like this. And this much drug has passed phase 2. So now we will check this much drugs in phase 3 trial. So here it's given the uh, probability of failure in phase 3 is 40%. So we will calculate and this much drug 
will only pass the all three phases. So answer will be 30 because they have asked for the whole number. This is the question number three. I have a transgenic nude mouse. What type of drug can be tested with that mouse? So for this, the answer will be anti-cancer. मैम आपकी वॉइस नहीं आ रही है क्यों माय वॉइस इज नॉट ऑडिबल टू ऑल No, somebody uh, write it down. Voice is not coming. Anamika. Hey, but... Yes. Why? What happens? Do you don't you don't want? Okay, then switch off your microphone. That would be better. So this is the question four of. Question four, identify the rotatable bond in the below structure. So in this structure, the rotatable bond is B. Because I have told in previous uh, classes like this, this all won't be the rotatable bond. So this only and this can be, but uh, this having the partial bond character. So C is excluded from this so answer will be B. And in question 5, why should drug be stable at pH 2 to match the pH of a stomach? Because the pH of a stomach is acidic. So now come to the assignment 2. So in assignment 2, the question number 1, the smile notation for this molecule is. So we will start from here. So N and this one is C, then C, 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 Cl. So N, C1, C, C and then C, Cl in bracket because this is the side chain and then C and then again the double bond and then C and then this C1 and double bond O. So answer will be this. In question number 2, 0.5 micromole of drug is dissolved in a mixture of octanol and water. After equilibration, 0.20 micromole is dissolved in octanol and rest in water. What is its log P? So what is log P? Log P is the partition coefficient of molecule between a lipophilic and aqueous phase. So log P equal to log concentration in octanol upon concentration in water. So in question it's given like 0.20 micromole is dissolved in octanol and rest in water. So this much in octanol and rest in water means 0.5 as it's given totally 0.5. So 0.5 minus 0.2. So it will be 0.3 and this will come minus 0.176. This is the question number three. What is the change in M log P when B is converted into A? You switch ADME. This kind of question won't come in course, uh, in exam. So don't get bothered with this kind of questions. And I have discussed this question also in assignment two, like big two classes. So M log B value is 0 0.87 and A value is 1.55. So when we minus out, it will come minus 0 0.68. So this will be the answer. This you can do in Swiss ADME, like you can draw structures and from there you can get this value and do it. Uh, in uh, assignment, like in site, it's, this a structure is not given. There is one mistake like this 
a, stru a structure is not there. So you can take these uh, structures and uh, find out the polar surface area by using Swiss ADME. So the answer will be for this is 106.94. And what is the name of this, this trap? So for that also I have told in previous class like uh, you can draw this uh, structure in, in Jink database and get the name. So this kind of question won't come in exam so don't get bothered. Now come to the assignment 3. In assignment 3, the question number 1, the dissolution of drug follow a first order process, which is the first order relation. C0 is the initial drug concentration and C and T are time and concentrations at different time. This also I have discussed, I think, in week 3 class. So you all know like C equal to C0 e power kT. This is the first order process. So in this, this will be the answer. And now question number second, using this rule log PEF equal to minus 2.546 minus 0 0.011 PSA minus 0 0.278 HBD calculate the effective permeability of the following compound. In this question PSA is given 55.98 HBD uh, we can see like uh, only one hydrogen bond donor is there so HBD will be here 1. But uh, the mistake of this question is in place of log PEF, it should be ln PEF. So if you will consider ln PEF, then answer will come like 0 0.0324 and it will match. And if you will calculate with log PEF, then the answer will come like 0 0.00037. Yes. No, no. No, no. The thing which is written in paper, you consider that. Yes. It is questions. So in, ha, okay, no, this one is BD equal to 1, yes, tell me, ah, okay, okay, no problem, using this rule, log P, yes, yes, Yeah. Oh. That I, because if log is written there, then you have to use log base 10. What I am uh, thinking. And if... Uh, yeah, so if log is written, then you should consider log base 10. Yeah, no, yeah. No, actually I gone through the answer of these questions. Then uh, I find out like if we will change it, this log to ln, then the answer is matching what it's given there. Okay, okay, okay. So question two, using this rule, uh, ln log PEF equal to minus 2.546 minus 0 0.011 PSA minus 0 0.278 HBD calculate the effective permeability of the following compound. In this, it's given PSA like polar surface area is 55.98. Hydrogen bond donor, you know, like uh, the electronegative atoms connected with hydrogen. So in this, 
only nitrogen is connected with hydrogen so there is only one hydrogen bond donor so you can simply put it the value of psa and hbd in this equations so once you will yes so once you will uh, do it so uh, if you will consider this ln pf then also it will come this much so what we will do then log uh, p effective equal to uh, minus 3.43 upon 2.303 because you all know ln equal to 2.303 log base 10 so if we will consider uh, if we will uh, change in log base 10 so it will be become ln upon 2.303 so ln value is there minus 3.43 so we will divide by 2.303 and it will come a minus 1.489 so again p effective equal to nt log minus 1.489 and this will be equal to 0 0.0324 so this will be the answer i think this answer is matching with your answer which is given there in practice assignment and if you will consider this as such then the answer will come like this so uh, here like uh, in question 3 how many violation of lipinski rule does this molecule m log p value is given here 4.3 so in after seeing this structure we can say the molecular weight would be less than 500 hydrogen bond donor is also one hydrogen bond acceptor is one so this all following lipinski rule the only uh, things which are not following in lipinski rule is m log p value so the m log p value should be less than 4.15 And this value is greater than 1.4.15 so there is one violation so answer will be one now in this question in a molecule pgp p glycoprotein efflux substrate p glycoprotein efflux substrate if n plus o uh, a smaller than sorry greater than 8 molecular weight greater than 400 acid with pka greater than 4 most likely a pgp non substrate if n plus o a smaller than equal to 4 molecular weight a smaller than 400 and acid with pka 8 yes so in this questions the n plus o is equal to 4 molecular weight of this uh, compound is 217.29 and acid with pk of this compound is 3.7 so uh, so this molecule is not a p glycoprotein reflux substrate so answer will be no Yes, Nadia, but uh, uh, in uh, Swiss ADME, I have seen this and I think this questions has followed Swiss ADME things. These questions. So if these things is given, then you should consider this. Otherwise, you follow whatever the what is the Lubinsky rule less than five and all. I just convey because I have seen in Swiss ADME. I think this question has given from there, and they have followed that Lipinski things, Lipinski filters things. One paper is there, Lipinski et al. Two thousand one. I think they have followed from there. So in this questions, if pK of a drug equal to 3.5 and pH equal to 2, what is the ratio of uncharged to charged concentration? 
तो पी के एक्वल टू पी एच प्लस लॉग अनचार्ज कंसेंट्रेशन अपॉन चार्ज कंसेंट्रेशन तो पी के वैल्यू इज गिवेन है थ्री पॉइंट फाइव एंड पी एच वैल्यू इक्वल टू टू प्लस लॉग एंड चार्ज अपॉन चार्ज कंसेंट्रेशन सो लॉग एंड चार्ज अपॉन चार्ज कंसेंट्रेशन इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट फाइव एंड दिस विल बी इक्वल टू थर्टी वन पॉइंट सिक्स टू आई थिंक देर इज वन मिस्टेक्स इन दिस क्वेश्चन आंसर ऑल्सो इट इज गिवेन लाइक फोर पॉइंट फोर टू फोर पॉइंट फाइव सो यू शुड कंसिडर दिस आंसर what happen yeah this is the formula of this you use it this one and put it the value yeah this is there no what you want you can just put it in this na no? pka equal to ph plus so if you will put it the value of pka or ph in this you will get this one so after that you got the log value of this so you want you want this things like uncharged to charged concentration so just take the anti log and you will get this value accept yes yes okay yeah you can do like this that's not a problem if you will do like that also then it will come like one upon this one upon one point ni some some different things will come and you will solve it then it will come this only what you are telling like Uh, tell me what equations you are telling like P H equal to P K A minus log something, na? Huh? What you are telling me? Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Minus minus or plus log charged upon uncharged, right? Something like this, na? Huh? so if you will solve it then it will come this only this things will come only actually this kind of problem i saw see if the 1.5 na how come minus 1.5 see i have followed this formula and if you will put it in this Then it will come one point five, and we will take the anti log of one point five, right? So if you are using this formula, I don't remember this formula right now. What is that? So if a correct formula of this, so if you will put it in this also, then finally these things only will come, like anti log of one point five only will come. Yeah, because I know in discussion forum lot of uh, uh, discussion going on regarding this question, this kind of questions. So now, uh, but in uh, this problem assignment, the answer is given like four point four. So you should not consider this answer. You consider this one, thirty one point six two. So now assignment four. In assignment four, also in question number one, the Mohr's potential is zero point zero four one when two atoms of molecule is stressed by two point four and two point one m strong. Calculate the equilibrium distance. This question is also, I think, incomplete because we need the constant value. So constant value is missing here, so we can't calculate. So we just left as such. Now the question number two. Find the value of x at which this function is minimum. Like y equal to given three x cube minus two x square minus one. Some printing mistake or some mistakes is there. Like it's written. So you just consider like this. It's written like this. So you just consider q and square. 
so we will just differentiate these things so it will come 9x square minus 4x so for minima you know For minima, you know, like d by d x equal to zero and d square by upon d x square greater than zero. So we will take this one only d d y by d x equal to zero and then this equation equal to zero. So x equal to become zero point four four. So with reference to problem two, find the corresponding value of y. So just now we got x equal to zero point four four and this is the equation which given in previous question. so we will put it the value of x in this equation and you will get the answer like minus 1.13 or so now come to the assignment 5 in assignment 5 for the functions y equal to 2x square minus 2 calculate the exact dy by dx at x equal to 7 so we will simply differentiate this equation so dy by dx equal to dy dx 2x square minus 2 so it will become 4x and we will put the value of x in this so it will come 28 so answer will be 28 yeah there is mistake in this questions also i think in in this questions in that there it's written only use the step length of 0.001 but in place of using 0.001 use it uh, 0.01 and this questions will be like this with reference to problem 1 calculate the d by by dx at x equal to 7 using two point finite method difference method so you follow this questions not that one what is given there so if you will follow this so answer will come like 27.998 if you will follow this one this one then your answer will come 97.98 so better you follow this 0.01 so it will come so it will uh, like this you can solve like two uh, Sorry, two seven a square minus two, and then two six point nine nine a square minus two upon zero point zero one. So it will come ninety six point ninety five point seven two zero two upon zero point zero one, and this will be like zero point two seven nine eight upon zero point zero one, and this will be ninety seven twenty seven point nine eight. So this will be the correct. so you just uh, uh, rectify it so now this is question number 3 in question number 3 it's given dy by dx equal to 3x square if at x equal to 2 and y equal to 8.5 calculate the value of y at x equal to 2.1 by the by exact and using euler method with a step length of 0.1 what is the difference a hint also given use integration constant so what we will do first we will uh, take this equations dy by dx equal to 3x square and then integrate it with respect to dx so it will come by equal to x cube plus c and then we will put it the value of x and y and we will find out c so y is given here 8.5 and x is given here 2 So y equal to eight point five equal to eight like two pq eight plus c. So c will come zero point five, and then uh, calculate the value of y at x equal to two point one. So we will take the uh, value of x here two point one q. Simply we will put it in this equation, and plus zero point five as it came here. So it will come nine point seven six one. by adjacent methods and then they are asking to use euler methods so euler forward methods y1 equal to y0 plus hf hf h is like a step length and x0 and y0 like that slope is, uh, is should be in functions form in function x0 and y0 form so y0 is given here 8.5 step length is here 0.1 and this equation is 3 3x A square right divide dx because divide dx here is coming in functions form so this equations we will take 3x square so we will put just simply the value of 2 uh, 
so value of x so it will come 2 square so it will be 12 and we will put it then it will come 9.7 so difference will be 0 0.061 but in answer i think some different value is given like uh, 0 0.35 to 0 0.45 so you should not consider this one you consider this 0 0.061 So in questions for how many confirmations can patent take in previous classes also i have shown like c so this is the key bond here this two so we will take three ka q and this will be three ka square and this will be nine so answer will be nine here And in this question, which method in this list is an Avencio method? So answer will be Gaussian. These all are um, not Avencio method. This all the semi empirical method or something. So now come to the assignment six. In assignment six, question one: If two methyl group are added to a drug, what will be the change in log p? Like new log p minus old log p. The log p of methyl group is given here zero point five six. So what we will do? Let consider. Old drug log p is x, and so new so new drug log p will be equal to x plus two into zero point five six, and this will be equal to one point one two x plus one point one two. So what we will take here x plus one point one two minus x. So this will be equal to one point one two. This will cancel out. I couldn't understand Akarthik which questions you are telling. Questions three. What you have considered here? Okay. Okay. Okay, so now it's oh, good now. Now it's correct, right? Okay, okay. No, I get confused like I have done some mistake or what. Rajbinder, which questions you are asking? Which question to? Which assignment? This question. Okay. So what I'm telling here. Uh. In this questions, in place of this step length, you use it 0 0.01 and solve like this, like uh, 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 final minus initial upon final minus initial in both in y form, in y form and in x form. So like this, if you will do, then you write solve again. No response. Rajbinder. So the answer of this questions will be 1.12. So now the question 2. A QSR relating molecular refractivity and activity is given here. Given as activity equal to 2.2 into MR plus 1. And MR value is given here 0 0.45. So what is its activity? So we will simply put it the value of MR molar refractivity in these equations. And you will get the answer 1.99.
तो इन दिस क्वेश्चन एक्यूएसआर इज गिवन रिलेटिंग टू एम आर एंड हाइड्रोफोबिक एंड हाइड्रोफिलिक प्रॉपर्टी विद एक्टिविटी एच एक्टिविटी इक्वल टू टू प्लस जीरो पॉइंट सेवन इंटू एम आर प्लस फोर इंटू पी आई तो कैलकुलेट द पी आई तो वी हैव टू टेक दिस एम आर वैल्यू फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन जीरो पॉइंट फोर फाइव एंड सिंपली पुट इट इन दिस इक्वेशन एंड कैलकुलेट द पी आई सो द पी आई वैल्यू विल कम माइनस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो एट वन Now the question number four. In question number four, the R square is given here zero point nine five n equal to six and p equal to two. Calculate the adjusted R square. So R square adjusted R square equal to one minus n minus one upon n minus p into one minus R square. So we will simply put it the value of this all R square, this n and p in this equation. and when you will solve it then it will come 0.9375 and this question is incomplete so don't consider or don't solve so now assignment 7 so in assignment 7 Molecule A has fourteen fingerprints. Molecule B has eleven fingerprints, and they have four fingerprints in common. Calculate the Tony Moto coefficient. So you all know Tony Moto coefficient equal to C upon A plus B minus C. So just simply put it the value of all this A B C in this equation. So you will get the value zero point one nine zero. Yes. log p value where you need this log p value these things uh, this one you are asking this no these things will come in question no need to. so now this questions if the binding constants for a ligand protein interaction is 2.3 calculate the gibbs free energy minus del g not at 30 degree celsius in kilo joule per mole so we all know this formula del g not equal to minus rt ln k and r you know joule per mole like at 0.314 joule per mole we will calculate this temperature in kelvin so you all know 273 plus 30 it will come 303 kelvin so we will simply put it the value of all in this equation so minus 8.314 into 303 into ln 2.3 so it will come this much joule but in questions they have asked in kilo joule per mole and also they have asked like molar gives free energy minus so just see question carefully minus del g not so the answer will come 2.098 yes ln 2.3 value is this na no? i couldn't understand what you are asking kartik can you show the calculator and all okay after this things after uh, this 
okay then he will show the calculator now so now this question 3 sequence a has 400 amino acids while sequence b has 600 amino acids using blast a pairwise alignment was done 100 amino acids are identical so what is the percentage identity so so percentage identity equal to we have to take this identical amino acids upon the sequence which having the lesser number of amino acids into 100 and then we will calculate it you will get 35 percent these similar questions I have discussed in week 7 class. The disulfide bonds contribute to protein stability mainly by reducing the conformational entropy of denatured state as del S equal to minus 2.1 minus 3 upon 2 R ln N. So N is the number of residue in the loop formed by crosslink. If the number of residue in the loop increases from 5 to 8, so what is the increase in its percentage stability? So what we will do here, we will take this equation still S equal to minus 2.1 minus 3 upon 2 R ln N. So when N equal to 5, we will put it the value of N, 5, N here 5 and we will solve it. So it will come minus 22.0. And when we will take the value of 8, so it will come minus 27.91. So increase in stability equal to final volume, value minus initial value upon initial value into 100. So it will come 26.86. So answer will be this. Now assignment 8. So in assignment 8, question 1, if Ka or Ke of a drug is 1 and 0 0.18 so respectively and Fd upon V is given 1.8, what is the maximum concentration in the plasma? But uh, before solving this maximum concentration in the plasma, we require time, like maximum time. Because this is the equation of maximum concentration in plasma, like C equal to Fd upon V K upon K minus K E E power minus K E T minus E power minus K A T. So we required T here. Like so first we will calculate T max here. So for that we will use this formula ln K upon K E into 1 upon K minus K E. So we will put it the value of K A and K E in this equation or in this formula. So we will get it here 2.07. So after that uh, in this formula like to calculate maximum concentration in plasma we will take this equation or this formula and we will put it the value in this and then you will get 1.2322 so now the question second So now the question second. In question seconds for a dose of 0.22 gram C0 equal to 0.01 gram per liter. So they want to calculate volume of distribution. So volume of distribution is equal to dose upon C0. So we will simply put it the value of this dose and C0 in this equation. So you will get 22 liter. With reference to problem when calculate half life. So you all know this formula t half life sorry half life equal to 0 0.693 upon k so from problem one you can take the value of k so the value is given there 0 0.18 and you will just divide it and get the answer and now this is the question number four if c0 equal to 0 0.1 k equal to 0 0.1 k equal to 10 to the power 6 and c f u at time t0 is 10 to the power 6 what is the amount at t equal to 4 hour assume d c f u upon d t equal to minus k c and c follow the first order clearance i think last class only i have discussed these things so d c f u upon d t equal to minus k c and uh, you know first order clearance like C0 power E power KET. So we will simply put it the value of C in this and integrate both sides. So when we will integrate, you will get this. 
and then at time equal to zero at time zero so it will become cf u not equal to k c zero k e plus c because this term will become one so c equal to cf u not minus k c zero upon k e so now at time t so we will take this k c zero k e e power minus k e t plus cf u not minus k c zero upon k e and we will take it common so it will come Take it common and put it the value of all those things which is given in questions. This all. So when you will uh, calculate it, it will come six seven zero three two zero. I think I have solved similar question in previous assign in last week. So now this all your practice assignment has solved and whatever the uh, wherever we have found some mistakes that also I have clarified. So Karthik. What should I do about this exam-related thing? Yes, you have doubt regarding. Yes. Yes. Are but uh, it's given there. Now you have to write some numeric numbers. Not four point nine nine nine. Four point nine 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 will be equal to five. Now. Yes. See here we can't write the four point nine nine fingerprints. It should be like a number, right? This this kind of questions only, na? That assignment one question number assignment seven question one, I think. Tani matto coffee student things only, right? Yeah, that is there, but. But these all things you can consider yourself, na. No? Like you can uh, see the questions. What is pattern they are writing? Like fingerprints matching, and then like, and if like four point nine nine nine, he can write it five, na. No? Yeah, then you should consider these things. You can see the pattern of the questions. In questions pattern, you see, na, like there, what they are telling. Molecule A having fourteen fingerprints. You can uh, think like this: the molecule A having the uh, fourteen properties and fourteen different properties, and molecule sorry, fourteen properties. Molecule B having eleven properties, right? So after they are seeing. Like they have written down, okay, this this property having molecule A and this this property molecule B. On that, they are finding some property are similar, and that is the C. This is common one. So of course that things won't come in these things, na? No, but this kind of questions, na? But in these questions, but in these questions, yeah, I can, yeah, I can understand in yeah, in multiple questions like we have to see the that things. Because of that, one Lena, I am taking this revision session. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh. 
ओके 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 या या ओके 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 रिगार्डिंग दिस आई थिंक वी हैव समथिंग टू से टू यू ऑल सो यू हैव एनी डाउट्स इन ऑल असाइनमेंट्स क्वेश्चंस ओके ओके सो यू वांट असाइनमेंट एट क्वेश्चन वन क्या जग्गा सुब्रमण्यम सो व्हाट इज प्रॉब्लम इन दिस क्वेश्चन दिस क्वेश्चन वाली ना So in these questions, they have asked like to calculate maximum concentration in plasma, right? So if you will go the formula of this, so it is like this: F into D upon V K upon K minus K E into E power exponential power minus K E T minus E exponential exponential power minus K E T. So we required P here, like P max we required to calculate this maximum concentration in plasma, right? So for calculating for getting this t we have to calculate first t max so for t max we have to use this and we will put it the value of k upon k e and this one upon k minus k e this all things and solve it and then you will get the t max value 2.07 and after that you put it all value in this and get the answer no ma'am assignment 8 of the course yes nazia so number 4 this question So in these questions, the n plus o value is four, right? This is four. If you will go in Swiss ADME and uh, draw this uh, structure, so you will get the molecular weight also two point two one seven point two nine, and acid with EKA of this uh, structure is three point seven. So if you will consider this all three. so it is not a g glycoprotein efflux substrate so answer will be no yes ha ha yeah yeah this all things will be given in question whatever things is given here this all things will be given in question paper so making this practice assignment only to uh, like to show how questions will come in exam but we found some mistakes and because of that i have taken this particular things only for the revision session so i can rectify here itself
which one you don't have any problem with this assignment things no one having problem no yeah for that so we want to yeah this no karthik I don't know what is this. Yeah, next. Yeah, the the main thing is like if questions have two digit, it is recommended to consider maximum of two to three digits in solution. This only if you will uh, remember, then I don't think this problems will come. You see the questions pattern, like how many decimals is there, and like that you put it. and this all the point to discuss in I think uh, now your all examination related problems has solved.
Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. Ah, it is there, na? Ellen, and then put it the value like five. Okay, okay, five, and then ln. So this will come this much, one point six zero. Like this, you can do. Ah, uh -huh, one minute. Okay. Yes, first you put it the value, like whatever value is there, like one point five, right? And then uh, ln. So it will come. Like that, you do it. Karthik, anti lock. Ah, yes. When I don't know where is this anti lock. I don't know. Okay. Ten power x. Okay. Okay. So this is the this is the anti lock. So now all problem has solved. Yeah, yes, yes, this you have to learn. I think someone asked some more. There is no need to use any software and all in exam. Mayura, Moria, please solve assignment 8, question 1. Uh, which course? Your assignment. Subramaniam? This questions. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. There were multiple queries related to this question. So in this question, uh, I think assignment eight question one. So in this question, uh, half life is given four point zero seven six, and Ka is given A, right? And they want us to calculate. क्या बोल रहा है calculate करने? Calculate the T max. Okay. So they want us to calculate T max, right? So for T max, the formula is ln uh, Ka upon Ke and then 1 upon K minus Ke, right? This is the formula. So for this, we required Ke, but in questions, it's given T half and Ka. So first, we have to calculate Ke here. So for that, we know the T half, this half life equal to 0 0.693 upon Ke. So from here, we will calculate first Ke, 0 0.693 upon 4.076. So this will come 0 0.1700. And then we will put it the value of this Ke and Ke in this equation and you will get the answer. Like T max equal to ln 1 upon 0 0.17 and then 1 upon 1 minus 0 0.17. So it will be like ln 
5.88 into 1.0.83 and this will be 1.77 into 1.0.83 and this will be equal to 0 0.1 so this is the answer 0 0.1 now okay Yes, you will get this chunk. I think now they don't have any uh, problems for confusion. What? Oh, hall tickets. Now we can close the class, right? You people don't have any problem related to these assignments and exams. Okay. Okay, Karthik, thank you.